Gee, that's a that's a tricky one. <laughs> I think it'll be sooner than that. Yeah, I reckon. I think the time horizon for people to get comfortable with them might be longer than we think. I'm quite sure that the 20 years is actually an over-pessimistic time frame, that more like five or 10 years from now, we will be seeing a situation in which these cars have become so safe that it is not possible to mess up and you know, cause them to crash just by not paying attention. It's crazy that we spend $40,000 on average per year on this thing, this asset, that we only use for maybe an hour a day. Casualties are going to fall right off, right? It's going to be good for us all. Do you really want to put your, your, your safety in the hands of a robot in the, in the, uh, you know, and not have that control? Uh, but I also think there's a lot of people that actually enjoy driving. My husband and I are part of that, you know. We'd love nothing more than going driving out in the open road. And so uh, being in an automated, in, uh, automated car isn't quite the same, I don't think. Yes, the current generation will be the last to learn to drive. We're going to see huge advances. When you think of 20 years ago and we didn't have, even have iPods, iPads, phones, yeah, we're in for some big changes. I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to be capable of dealing with the human side of driving and uh, all the dynamics of those decisions you make on a micro level, no. I would like to be able to get to Europe within 30 seconds. That's what I would like. So transportation, like in Star Trek. I would say anti-aging. <laughs> Some combination of artificial intelligence and extended reality coming together to re create really funky experiences for clients, for companies, for consumers. I've always been a fan of the personal jetpack as a technology that I really love to enjoy. The thing I'd love to use now is to see the future of financial markets and the future of longevity. In other words, how long are we going to live and what rates of return are we going to get in our superannuation? Something that overcomes jet lag, given I've just arrived here and I'm suffering really badly. Teleporting, that's the word. It annoys me that it takes so long to get somewhere. I flew today from Melbourne to Sydney. That took me three and a half hours door to door. I would quite like self-driving cars to actually happen and be a reality because I never learned to drive and therefore I am quite comically reliant on Uber and other people and such like. Well, if Aubrey de Grey is right, um, we will be able to perhaps in the next 20 to 30 years stop the ageing process. I'd be happy with that as long as I'm on top four. So what, we're not all going to be healthier and be able to actually just uh, participate on the beach and we're all going to be in aged care homes? I would hope that if people are going to stay alive longer, they're actually going to be healthier as well and live active lives. Hopefully well before then I'll be retired and smelling the roses. Big data is a huge transforming device. We don't know everything that people are going to know about us and we're going to have to provide products and technology that responds to that. We'll probably get told all the time what we should be doing in terms of contributing and told all the time about how we should be changing our investments. What we're seeing right now though is a shift from uh, the, the buzzword of big data to actually seeing results being created from people's use of data. It's going to transform everything we do. I think, you know, us oldies have to give up this idea of keeping our privacy, everybody's just going to know everything about us and that's just the way it's going to be. Oh, I think it's going to give insurance a hell of a belting. I think that uh, if you know all about a person then you can't insure them and so that's uh, a real danger for insurance. And we haven't fully resolved this incredible personalization with this incredible invasion of privacy and this, you know, let's just say almost onslaught on the truth. Potentially all your financial transactions are going to be there and these can be used to help improve what you buy, how you spend your money. Um, they can also be used to poke into your private life and bring a whole bunch of consequences you didn't think about. It would probably look very different, feel very different and the customer hopefully will also feel very different from today. We will be able to price more accurately uh, and the clever ones will therefore be more profitable companies. The challenge is how do we hook up all the multiple 
systems, a lot of legacy systems in a lot of cases to really make use of the big data. I think that's the thing that's now starting to get some traction. Oh, I think massively. We're seeing in our business big data is absolutely fundamental to developing really unique products. But we have to respond quickly now because the fintechs are in there eating our lunch. So we're all very motivated to solve this. No way! <laughs> well, that's what will replace us. So, of course, what's going to happen is I think work is going to be modulized. There are some bits that robots will definitely do better. But people need to look at those algorithms and see, does it make sense? So why don't we use machine learning to give us some ideas, but then we can evaluate them. I don't think robots will replace actuaries, because what actuaries bring is complex judgment. It's really hard to teach an AI to do that. And I think actuaries have a much better sense of humor as well. No. It's going to free up actuaries to do a whole bunch of new things that we haven't had the time to do because we've been typing numbers into a triangle. Um, let's get the robots to do that stuff so that we can do more interesting, innovative stuff. Actuarial science is all about judgement and so there's so much that robots can do but actually at the end of the day you need a human I think and it'll be some time before robots and artificial intelligence can replace human judgement. I think actuaries will always do better than robots but more and more of our work will become robotized. Oh, easily. <laughs> robotized, is there such a word? <laughs>